You seem to have a lot of strong opinions. I do. Mostly because I come across a lot of dicks. Or I guess I should say wankers. Or totter. We. Oui. I'm not following. You speak with a British accent. I've often been told that I have a British accent. Oh? That's, that's all you're going to say? Oh? Have you spent much time in Britain, then? No, I haven't. I see you're on vacation in Rio de Janeiro in this photo. At a quick glance, I'd say there's roughly a 26-year age difference between the two of you. Not quite large enough to raise eyebrows while still giving you a younger mind to shape. Oh, you mean you haven't seen all about Eve, Gypsy, Valley of the Dolls, etc.? And a younger body to make you feel more virile. Can I tell you a story about another little boy? Um, okay. When I was your age, I grew up in London when the Blitz had just ended. Good God, how old are you? Mummy! 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 Mum! Mother! Don't. Don't what? You know what. But Mother was nowhere to be found. And neither was Father. The point of the story is I know what it's like to feel alone and to have to pretend that you're something you're not. Oh, and also, how my first kiss was with a Nazi. Don't pretend I'm something I'm not. I never said that. You just said it. I might have implied it. I suppose the question is why you feel the need to do that. Look, I'm different, Dr. Pritchfield. I'm not like the other kids. I realized that when you picked up that photo and decimated my entire life. Sorry, it's kind of a parlor trick of mine. Have you ever thought of just being yourself? I won't do it! I don't want to be like any other person! Like you skiing Please, in... don't pick up that photo. This isn't even how I really talk! This is. This is how I talk. <sighs> wow. What a relief. For once, to talk with my real voice without the, the burden of trying to sound like someone I'm not! What do you mean by that? Well, this is my real voice. I don't hear a difference. Now, let's talk about... <clears throat> Stewie, can you hand me my heart medication? Mmm, yeah. I'd like to. Really, I would. And you were super helpful. Eyes, look your last. Arms, take your last embrace. And lips, oh, you, the doors of breath, seal with a righteous kiss, a dateless bargain to engross. Don't do this, Stewie. It will stay with you forever. Mm, yeah, not worried. For me, this is kind of no bigs. So, this is how you leave me. Sorry. Engrossing deaths. <laughs> You've reached the office of Dr. Cecil Pritchfield. Please, leave a massage. That one can't be right. It's Michael. I want a divorce. This is not your day. You know, there's been a lot of talk lately about homosexuals, but how do you know what to believe? Well, here are a few tips that may help you tell when you've got a gay. So, uh, what's your favorite Madonna album? I like her early work. If his answer is anything but, I've never bought one, you've got a gay. Let's take a blood sample, Mr. Braga. If instead of human blood, you find a deadly corrosive acid, you've got a gay. Not this time, Nancy boy.